Good day Forex Trader. Your USD Forex signal, bullish trend to 1.1715 intact. Despite the pullback, the pair will likely keep rising as bulls target the 50% retracement level at 1.1716. Bullish view. Buy the Euro USD and set a take profit at 1.1715, 50% retracement. Add a stop loss at 1.1600. Timeline, 2 days. Bearish view. Set a sell stop at 1.1615 and a take profit at 1.1550. Add a stop loss at 1.1700. The Euro USD price retreated as investors reflected on the relatively weak US housing starts and building permits data. The pair is trading at 1.1637, which is slightly below Tuesday's high of 1.1670. U.S. Housing Starts and EU Inflation Data The U.S. housing market has had a strong recovery during the pandemic. Demand for homes in most cities has risen, which has pushed prices to record highs. This performance is mostly because interest rates are at record lows and people have made significant savings during the pandemic. Also, the pandemic pushed more people to have a desire for a second home. Now, there are signs that the industry's growth is cooling. Data published by the Census Bureau showed that housing starts declined by 1.6% in September. Precisely, they declined from more than 1.58 million to 1.55 million. Meanwhile, building permits declined by 7.7% from 1.72 million to 1.589 million. This trend will likely continue as home buyers start pricing in higher interest rates. The biggest catalyst for the Euro USD will be the latest EU Consumer Price Index (CPI) data that will come out in the morning session. The data are expected to show that the headline CPI rose from 0.4% in August to 0.5% in September. On a year-on-year -year basis, the prices are expected to have risen by 3.4% which is significantly higher than the European Central Bank ECB, target of 2%. Still, Europe's consumer inflation will keep rising as the cost of energy keeps rising. In the past few weeks, the price of gas has jumped to an all-time high. Despite assurances by Putin, the situation will likely get worse since Gazprom has said it will not pump gas through Ukraine in November. Your USD Forecast the EURUSD pair has been in a strong bullish trend in the past few days. It has risen by more than 1% from its lowest level in October. The pair has also managed to move above the bullish flag pattern that is shown in black. A bullish flag is usually a positive sign for an asset. It is now trading between the 23.6% and 38.2% Fibonacci retracement levels. Therefore, despite the pullback, the pair will likely keep rising as bulls target the 50% retracement level at 1.1716. This view will be invalidated if the price drops below the 23.6% retracement level at 1.1615. GBP USD Forex Signal, No Reaction to UK Inflation Data Short-term volatility is likely between $1.3750 and $1.3850. Today's GBP USD signals. Risk 0.75%. Trades must be entered between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. London time today. Short trade ideas. Go short following a bearish price action reversal on the H1 time frame immediately upon the next touch of 1.3852 or 1.3898. Put the stop loss 1 pip above the local swing high. Adjust the stop loss to break even once the trade is 20 pips in profit. Take off 50% of the position as profit when the price reaches 20 pips in profit and leave the remainder of the position to run. Long trade idea. Go long following a bullish price action reversal on the H1 time frame immediately upon the next touch of 1.3773. Put the stop loss 1 pip below the local swing low. Adjust the stop loss to break even once the trade is 20 pips in profit. Take off 50% of the position as profit when the price reaches 20 pips in profit and leave the remainder of the position to run. 
The best method to identify a classic price action reversal is for an hourly candle to close, such as a pin bar, a dodgy, an outside or even just an engulfing candle with a higher close. You can exploit these levels or zones by watching the price action that occurs at the given levels. GBP USD Analysis I wrote last Monday that if the price could hold up above the support level at about 1.3725 after the London Open for an hour or so, we would be likely to see an advance over the day. The level did not hold, and we got a mostly choppy day here as I had expected so this was a good call. The price advanced yesterday and the price action has looked reasonably bullish ahead of today's UK CPI, inflation, data release with the pound showing some strength as the Bank of England warned of resurgent inflation and how it would probably have to be tackled by a rate hike soon. However, data was released earlier today showing that annualised UK inflation is decreasing, with the rate coming in at 3.1% compared to the 3.2% which had been expected. This is a minor undershoot but this data point probably now will delay the prospect of a rate hike, which is likely to remove some strength from the British pound. The price of this currency pair has so far reacted little to the news, although it has fallen which is a small bearish sign, and the price has a long way to fall below the obvious inflection point at 1.3773. Therefore, if we get two consecutive lower hourly closes below that level during the first half of today's London session, I would be ready to take a bearish bias on this currency pair. AUD USD Forex Signal, more upside as RBA forecast in doubt. The path of the least resistance for the pair is to the upside, with the next key resistance being at 0.7550. Bullish view. Buy the AUD USD pair and set a take profit at 0.7550. Add a stop loss at 0.7400. Timeline, 1 to 2 days. Bearish view. Set a sell stop at 0.7450 and a take profit at 0.7350. Add a stop loss at 0.7550. The AUD USD rose to the highest level since July as investors and analysts cast doubt on the guidance offered by the Reserve Bank of Australia, RBA. The pair is trading at 0.7485, which is about 4.35% above the lowest level on September 29th. RBA rate hike bets rise. The RBA published the minutes of this month's monetary policy meeting on Tuesday. In the minutes, the members sounded a bit optimistic about the economy as the government accelerates its vaccination rollouts. At the same time, the bank pointed that it will hike interest rates when the employment situation in the country improves. It expects that this will happen in 2024. However, Analysts believe that the bank will hike sooner. For one, Australia's inflation is expected to rise as supply challenges remain. The country is also facing substantial energy challenges as gas prices rise. At the same time, home prices have rocketed higher and the cost of other items has also risen substantially. As such, analysts surveyed by Financial Review found that most analysts expect that the RBA will move in 2023. Others believe that the bank will hike in 2022. The AUD USD is also rising even after the relatively disappointing economic data from China. Data published by the country's statistics agency showed that the economic growth declined sharply in the third quarter. Sadly, the situation will likely continue considering that the government is disrupting growth of the real estate sector. This is important for Australia because the country sells most of its commodities to China. The AUD USD also rose after the relatively weak US building permits and home starts data. The numbers showed that the country's building permits declined by 7.7% in September while housing starts fell by 1.6% in the same period. AUD USD forecast. The AUD USD pair rose to a high of 0.7485 which was the highest level in months. The price managed to move above the previous September high of 0.7478. It has also moved above the 25-day and 50-day moving averages. It has also risen to the upper side of the Bollinger Bands while the Relative Strength Index, RSI, has been rising. Therefore, 
the path of the least resistance for the pair is to the upside, with the next key resistance being at 0.7550. This view will be invalidated if the price drops below the key support at 0.7440. USD JPY Forex signal, bulls hit 3.5 year high price. Big round number at 115.00 overhead. Today's USD JPY signals. Risk 0.75% slash. Trades may only be entered before 5 p.m. Tokyo time Thursday. Short trade idea. Short entry following a bearish price action reversal on the H1 time frame immediately upon the next touch of 115.45. Put the stop loss 1 pip above the local swing high. Adjust the stop loss to break even once the trade is 20 pips in profit. Take off 50% of the position as profit when the price reaches 20 pips in profit and leave the remainder of the position to run. Long Trade Ideas Long entry following a bullish price action reversal on the H1 time frame immediately upon the next touch of 114.46 or 113.80. Put the stop loss 1 pip below the local swing low. Adjust the stop loss to break even once the trade is 20 pips in profit. Take off 50% of the position as profit when the price reaches 20 pips in profit and leave the remainder of the position to run. The best method to identify a classic price action reversal is for an hourly candle to close, such as a pin bar, a dodgy, an outside or even just an engulfing candle with a higher close. You can exploit these levels or zones by watching the price action that occurs at the given levels. USD JPY Analysis I wrote last Thursday that this currency pair was now in a very bullish position, although the short-term price action was suggesting a downwards price movement over the coming hours. However, I was still looking to the bullish side, noting that the price had a lot of room to rise to the 115.00 area, so I was still ready to enter a long trade from any bullish bounce we may get at either 113.20 or 113.03. Unfortunately, the price never quite retraced to 113.20 as it has continued to rise strongly since then and we are now close to 115.00, as I had expected would happen. The main drivers of the USD JPY price are still the weakness of the Japanese yen, which persists still, with the yen the weakest major currency, and the rising US 10-year Treasury yield which is preventing the USD from falling by much upon reaching a new 5-month high at 1.65%. These bullish price drivers remain valid, and we have a strong bullish trend here. However, it may that the price will struggle to rise much higher over the near term as we approach the big round number at 115.00. I see the best approach as watching the new support level at 114.46 and how the price reacts there. If the level holds up, we are likely to see the price continue to advance to a new 3.5 year high price. A long trade from a bullish bounce following a retracement to the support level at 113.80 also looks potentially attractive.